what if I finally turn into what they've always said I was gonna turn into? A maniac. Hey everyone, this is that final video before my upcoming meet, April 2nd in Denver, Colorado State Championship, competing in the USPA again, looking to set some state records in the 181 pound weight class. Body weight is about 184.8 pounds. That's what I was weighing this morning. So as I'm talking to you right now, I'm 184 pounds and you're gonna see some pretty good PRs from me. Now, in this training cycle, I was thinking about cutting down to 165. I got a little bit sick. It did affect my training. I wasn't able to diet down or train as hard as I wanted to. So even though I'm getting some good PRs here, this is not the level of strength that I had expected myself to be at. So while good, I can definitely continue to make some more progress. I am, however, happy with these PRs and the way that they look. So you'll see in this set here, it's a 600 pounds on the bar. The most I've ever pulled is 635, and the most I've ever doubled, I think, is 575 or 585. So check out these raw clips right here of the 600 pounds. So there it is, a 600 pound double with some Myron. This is the uninterrupted instant replay. Came up pretty smooth, very happy with the rep quality. Feel like I could have pushed for three or four more reps. Well, no, not more, but total, three or four total reps. <laughs> However, the bar slipped a little bit in my hands and wanting to avoid hand damage going into this meet. I just decided to call it at two. I know I have more in me. I feel pretty good. State record 622. feel like I could definitely beat that. So this is uh, the following day. This is a, uh, well, not the following day, a few days later. Man, it's been a long week, you guys. So this is a few days later. I had already benched 355 for a triple pretty easily earlier this week, I think on Sunday. This uh, benching here is on Thursday, I believe. And uh, just working up to um, some heavy singles. I wanted to get something a little bit heavier in my hands, raw, boost some confidence in my bench. It's been feeling strong, but just not very confident. So went up to 365. Now, I've only ever benched 365 twice before, and my best ever is 380. And that's definitely the cleanest 365's ever looked. However, it hit the rack on the way up, and not wanting to repeat that, I was like, you know what, this rack has this weird pull-out mechanism for setting up without a spotter or whatever. I'm going to give it a shot. usually don't use this because it's just awkward, and I, I actually don't like it that much of a feature for a bench. So I just figured I'd show you guys the second time I tried 365 in this workout and uh, that weird contraption of a bench. Um, don't like it that much. It was actually a worse rep, not because of fatigue, but because my setup was affected by that weird bench. So that's kind of a bummer. I do feel strong enough to push 365 in the competition. I think the current state record is like 352. So the bench should go well if I'm not too fatigued after squats. We'll see how it goes in competition. Again, like I'm not putting any eggs in any sort of basket. Just train as hard as you can, go to the competition, see how you feel that day, do as best you can. It's that simple. And anyone who says otherwise, I mean, it's just really, you could plan and plan and plan all that you want, but there does have to be some sort of heuristic measure of, you know, what you can do at the meet. And um, putting hard numbers on paper is a sure way to bomb out of a meet because you want to get that number. Uh, it's better just to get what you definitely can get at the meet. So that's kind of thoughts on that. Now done talking about training these squats here are looking really good the squat is again like the deadlift not as strong as i'd really want it to be with me being 181 but there's still a lot of room for progress and uh, i work up to 500 pounds again high bar going high bar into the meat actually so answering that question right off the bat yes i will be doing high bar in the meat and this right here is 475 again i've squatted 475 or heavier maybe a handful of times so really happy that all of the work on form quality and the other qualitative factors of 
lifts like your speed your consistency your setup the tightness and the amount of bracing that you can get all that stuff is so important and if you could dial it in you're just going to be able to lift a lot heavier and by doing so you're going to lift heavier safer it's going to look better the judging is going to be much in your favor because without a doubt you'll hit depth and then on top of that you'll be able to recover easier from your squats because they'll take less out of you because you're more efficient with the movement and it doesn't strain you as much so i cannot say enough how important it is to maintain the quality of your lifts as you're training so this is a 500 pound double heaviest i've ever squatted is 507 and this 500 pound double felt good so that was one angle you'll see the ig angle right here and honestly the people who are arguing about squat angles and depth if the person's squatting to depth you're going to be able to tell from like almost any fucking angle and those who say otherwise might not be squatting to depth this is from above and behind probably the hardest angle to judge depth and unquestionably reaching depth here now some individuals do have body types that you can't really tell depth that much but i just wanted to throw this video clip in here so you can see the same squat from two different angles easily reaching depth in both of those clips so yeah final week before the meet everything's feeling good but with everything feeling good training does get hard training does get taxing and so what you're going to see here is how i'm relaxing going into the meet and that's just skateboarding something i've always done when i was a teenager my daughter's getting into skateboarding now and it's just fun to go to the skate park and putz around so check out these clips of me relaxing at the skate park after doing a 600 pound double on the deadlift thanks for watching Thank <laughs> you.